We talked last week about trying to ride the waves of life and look for the right time to challenge yourself so that you can make the best start in trying a new situation or a new thing. Life, as we know, can be tough at times. It can feel hard to deal with as well. Sometimes we can feel that we've got ourselves stuck in the current of a big wave that we just can't seem to get free from. This can be a hard time for anyone stuck in this way. Life will feel overwhelming and maybe even totally out of control for us. We can often find we're fighting the waves and the current only to find that we seem to be getting weaker and not feeling able to find a way out of it at all. This can often be a time when we find that we go into ourselves and we just feel lost with how out of control this experience is and how it's making us feel to go through this. I'm sure for all of us, unfortunately, we've all had to experience something like this before and it's far from nice. These are the times when we need to ask for help and not just try and fight the current and the pull of the waves. We all have to accept that sometimes we do need to help ourselves by asking for help to get out of these very challenging times when we feel ourselves really drowning under the pressure of the situation and that we just can't cope with it anymore. If we've been struggling under the pressure of dealing with the issue, over time it can have worn us down. And this is when we can make finding our way out of this situation even more difficult. If we imagine that we're caught under the wave and the pull of the current can be so strong that we don't even know the difference between up and down, which way will head us out to sea and which way is the way back to the safety of the shore. This is often how we can feel if we're being overwhelmed by what is happening and how we cannot seem to see a way out or even know which way we should go to try and help get ourselves through this situation. What we have to do when we're at this point is to ask for help as what we need to do is talk things through. If we've been stuck in the washing machine effect of the waves, then we need someone to help us see things in a more grounded way. This may seem simple to see things in a different way when we're not trapped in an overwhelming situation. But when we're being pulled into the issue at such an extreme level, we are now more likely than not, not as grounded as we would be normally. Also with these types of hard and challenging situations, there's often lots of fear, which will also impact our ability to stay grounded. If we're not grounded, then it's hard to make choices and decisions from a comfortable, secure place. This is because the fear and confusion will cloud our judgment. The fear will also be creating more fear around the process of decision making as our inner primeval mind hates making mistakes when it's life or death. Our minds will just want to protect us and will sometimes in these high stress and fearful situations just keep us frozen in fear. This is the worst outcome for us, as if we can't work a way out of the situation, we're just stuck in this horrible washing machine wave of fear and stress. This is why we need to talk, maybe a friend or a family member or a therapist, preferably be somebody who's not involved in the situation, as it's time to find someone else's grounded support to allow us to take stock of what's happening for us. We 
with someone listening and talking to us because they're not holding the same fear and stress as us over what we're going through, they can maybe even help us find the right direction to go in. Talking can help us deal with the issue in a new way. It's no longer in our heads, which has been making a big impact on how we can think through those issues and challenges. And also for a moment, we can see a more rational view of the situation. And this is the time to do our best to take that fear and confusion out of what is happening to allow us to deal with it in a more secure and grounded way. A problem shared is a problem halved. This is a great thing to remember when we're feeling trapped under the emotional wave of an issue that you're dealing with. Also, researchers in California found that the best way to help you while in a stressful situation is to share your feelings with somebody. They measured the participant stress hormone cortisol and the different levels that they had. And they found that the group who had had the opportunity to talk about their fears before they did their speech were much more calmer than the other group who didn't talk before their speech. This is great to see how the body can positively react to talking about things. And now is your time to do this. Another great thing about talking to someone will be that you won't feel so much on your own with the issue and maybe even learn someone else's opinion that might in some way help us find more solutions to help us work through these difficult situations. Don't keep locked in the cycle of being trapped under the wave of the situation that's impacting you. Ask for help. Thanks for dropping by.